Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome host. My name is Deja. So today I created yet another easy to do um, follow along fall look. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. Okay you guys, so I'm going to start off with priming my eyes with the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 3. I feel like I haven't used this in a long time. Probably because I've been putting concealers and stuff on my eyes instead of actually using a base. I went to Ulta um, recently and I wanted to get the basis that P. Louise did in collaboration with Taylor Made Jane and I did not see them in there. I didn't see any of P. Louise's stuff in Ulta and I thought that it was supposed to be in, um, in the store already, her Instagram. So I don't know, but I can't wait until I actually find them. Um, you know, Taylor Made Jane used them in her videos and you like, the pigment was still popping for the eyeshadows once she used the darker bases. So I can't wait to find those and play with them as well as as well as restock on some of my favorite <laughs> foundation. You know, my CoverGirl full spectrum. Then one that I've really been using a lot has been the Rub On Too Faced is good for now, but I don't necessarily think that I have a different, like a winter shade than the summer shade. Um, I feel like I stay the same year round, but we will see. Cause y'all know how it is here in Florida. Like the weather is just actually constantly hot. So we don't have a true winter. So we go see. And this year it's actually starting to get cold. And this morning it is 60 degrees outside. So we shall find out. So you guys, what I'm gonna play with today is something that I really love and I know, I don't think I've used it on camera in like forever, maybe even never, but it is the Melt Rust Step. You guys, I remember when this came out and I was like, you know what, I need to get it. And it's like 40 or 50 something dollars and my sister and I are like, it's too pricey. We had to wait for it to go on sale. So, uh -oh. so that's exactly what we did. We waited for it to go on sale one year and then we got it. So I am going to take, I'm gonna take my MAC 217 brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Rock, which is just nice chocolate brown here. And go ahead and start sweeping that throughout my crease. Now, y'all see that it has pigment. The stacks I think are so freaking cool and a unique idea. Very unique to the company, no one else does that, so. So then I'm gonna take the shade Rust, which is this um, kind of has like a brown to pink undertone or red undertone, should I say. And um, I wanna use that to diffuse out that shade Rot. So I'm gonna take <clears throat> my MAC 224 brush and just work that on there. Yo, excuse my voice, I just woke up not too long ago and when I wake up, I usually sound sick. So it's gonna take a while for my voice to normalize, so I apologize for that. Now I'm not going in heavy handed with um, with this shade, I'm just gonna take my time and build it up. Girl, I am all shooketh here by this Blend. <laughs> okay, so I think I want to go back in. Hold on, I'm, I got my brushes all mixed up over here. I think I'm gonna go back in with that shade Rot. It's just sort of darken up the, um, the outside of the crease a little bit more. Cause I'm not cutting a crease or anything crazy today. That is so pretty. These blend so well together. And I think I am gonna do shimmer on my lat on my um eyes today. No, I know I could stay mad, but I'll need a little bit of shimmer in there. And of course this deck does not have any shimmers on it, so I'm gonna go into a different palette to grab a shimmer. I'm gonna drop my masquerade palette by Juvius. 
And let me see. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go in with Cairo. So let me grab a flat brush. You know what, my brush for a little bit of Fix Plus. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go in with that shade Cairo. And um, put this on my lid. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can y'all see that? Well, my big head wasn't in the way. In the background. I hope y'all got that. If not, just know that the pigment is popping. Oh, girl. Look at that, that's pretty. And it has um, like little specks of glitter in it, if you don't know. And I'm not taking it all the way to the corner of my eye. I'm just gonna stop about three quarters of the way. Kind of feel like Halloween almost. <laughs> so let me take and go back in with Rot. And make sure that this blends nicely. I feel like this eye over here is like, when I get to the end, it always kind of blends more seamlessly and easily than and the other side does, but I, this look more Halloween to me. Let me take a little bit of the shade Rest <laughs> back up top. I lost that a little bit. I think I'm just gonna leave that as is and grab my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. And I think I'm just gonna do a basic one today. Nothing crazy. I am going to move on to my face. I'm gonna take my uh, Maybelline Baby Skin Empty Pore Eraser and try to be careful how much I'm squeezing out because it's a little too much. Last time, I've already moisturized my skin and prepped it and everything, even though it looks kind of dry to me, but I took the necessary steps for my skin. The foundation that I'm using is the Revlon Color Stay. Um, what is it? 24 hour something. Anyway, I'm gonna shave Mahogany for 40. Put some on the back of my hand. And it will work with that. Mm -mm. Where you going? And I'm just gonna take uh, my brush here and buff this in. Now I am going in with my Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Concealer and I'm in the shade 445. Now, what are, do you guys prefer a full coverage foundation or medium? What do you prefer versus like the summertime as well? Do you like a medium, full coverage, um, like a light coverage? Taking my Japanese brush and just gonna tap this in. Moving on, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me Powder and I'm gonna just use this to, of course, set the concealer and whatnot in place. Goodness, I don't really have a brush over here for my powder, so I'm just gonna take whatever and just tap it in. So I only put a powder on the areas that I apply the Concealer. I want to see how my skin is going to react without putting powder all over my face. I'm just going to go ahead and put some Netflix Plus on. I'm going to go ahead and bronze up and I'm going to take my Black Radiance palette. Hold on. My Black Radiance. You guys already know how I feel about that shade sculpt. So, use it to bronze up my face. I know it's just a wink of it. 
Okay guys, moving on to blush. We're going to take the Color Rain and Power Duo and use the blush that's in this palette. Mm -hmm. When I'm usually looking straight on and trying to put on blush, I can't really see it. But when I go and look in the mirror, I'm like, oh, okay. Like a big mirror, I can definitely see, you know, where the blush is. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on my lashes. The lashes that we are using are in the style Cassie. And they are from Lena Lashes. So while the lash glue is dry, I'm just going to go ahead and go into my lips. I'm going to take my NYX lip pencil in the shade Express Out and line today. I had a new lipstick that I wanted to try out from Pat McGrath, but um, I swatched, I just completely went outside the line. I swatched them on my arm and I was not impressed. The colors are a little misleading, so on the back of my arm here, y'all can see I swatched them. This is the shade Flesh, this is the shade Omi, and it's the shade 1995. And I thought they were gonna be darker, you know. I thought they were gonna be, you know, darker because they appear darker on the Sephora site, but they are too light and for this look, I don't want a light color lipstick, so. So I'm gonna, instead of using those, I'm gonna take the Kat Von D lipstick and this is in the shade Bow and Arrow and I have a little bit of this on. Oh, I got it on my teeth. I add like a little bit of color on my lips, but nothing too crazy. Pop my lashes on. Give this lash out of the middle to settle on it before I go pressing on it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Marc Jacobs highlighter in the shade Guilty and apply some of that. It's so very pretty. And because the the blush has a slightly um, a slight shimmer to it as well. Are you guys excited about um, Jaclyn Hill's launch and her highlighters? I know the lipsticks didn't go over so well, but um, I'm happy that she's bouncing back and she's continuing on. You live and you learn, you know? And pop a little bit on the bridge of my nose. I'll go ahead and set my makeup into place with Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. All right, so I'm gonna go fix my hair, put on some clothes, make myself decent, and I will be back. Okay, you guys, I'm back, and this is the final look. I just put on this really cute, um, sort of distressed white sweater. Uh -oh. <clears throat> and I have on a black t-shirt underneath it because I'm trying to be warm. Um, so yeah, this is it, just untwisted my hair. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on your notification bell so that you're notified when your girl posts a new, new video. You don't wanna miss what I got coming. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.